One of my instructors asked me, can I make my own problems in my math lab? And, sure, maybe when you try to make your own problems, you're going to have a few problems. But here's a video how. You're going to go to homework. You're going to modify that homework so that you can manage the homework because you want to make a new assignment. Now how do we make a new assignment? We create an assignment. Let's create a homework. So we're going to create this homework. Let's call it custom. Because it's our custom to make custom homeworks. We're not going to link this. Not on this one. But here's how we create our own questions. Let's create our own question over here. So then you go create a question. Now there are several different options here. You can copy theirs or you can start with a new template. Let's start with a new template. Now we can choose which style we like. Um, we can add the question and answer on top of each other or next to each other. Let's do next to each other. I want to show you a couple of different things that do go on in here. So in the problem statement, let's do simplify the root. Now in the interaction area, we can go ahead and we can make this with our equation editor. Let's say the square root of, what do you want to see? 16. Awesome. Click OK. Now, you can also have algorithmically generated values, and I honestly haven't messed enough with that to make a video on that, perhaps in the future. What I mean is, every time this problem comes up, you can have a, a selected few numbers in the radicand, and then you can make your answers that way. So then we'll say equals, and then now we go to the answer part. We can put a short answer in. It's a four-step process. Let's click next exact answers I define and click next enter the value what did we have the square root of 16 our answer is going to be 4 and then these down here I suppose we can click this and go next there's some other stuff in here that you might want to check out click next and this is what's gonna pop up if they get it wrong to use the vernacular of your current students of course you wouldn't actually put these in there but this is for the sake of an example and we'll click save great so now we see the directions are simplify the roots I gave a root identified the answer and let's click save now we get to name it. Let's name it custom or Rudy Jim. Let's call it Jim. Great. I don't know why you would name it Jim. You would name it something appropriate, probably with a section name or something like that. So now um, we need to add an association. I know it says it's optional, but when I when I um, have been doing this, it hasn't been so optional. Let's do the book, this one. The chapter 10, Roots and Radicals, Section Simplifying Radical Expressions, 10.3, Objective Simplifying Radicals. Of course, when you're making your own, you're going to associate it with the right spot. Why? Because when you're um, creating your homework, you're going to need to have it put in the appropriate spot. Author defined difficulty. This is an easy problem. Um, type, it's a short answer. You can also have multiple choice and true false, which I'll maybe show you in a minute. And we did not create algorithmic values. This is a static value. And then click OK. Let's go, computer. Awesome. So here we are. Let's save it. My updates have been saved. That's amazing. Okay. 
I guess we can get out of here now. And let's go get our question. So let's create this homework. This was from chapter 10. And then it was simplifying radical expressions. And then simplifying radicals. And look, Jim's right here. Let's add Jim. Bam! Simplify the root. Here it gives me my answer there. Let's work it as a student to see how this works. Perhaps we thought the answer was 3. So if the answer was 3, we can check our answer. Ugh, oh, epic fail. Done. Let's put in the correct answer. 4. Fantastic. That's a win. Okay, sure. Now, when you do create your own, you don't have the help me solve it and the view an example. But, um, that concludes how we would make a custom problem. Thank you.